What's up, my name is Annex Hope. This is my updated and revised version of my exporting and importing graphics into PS3 and RPCS3. It's been about a year and 10 months since I uploaded my last video. And I can tell you right now, it's gonna be the most straightforward and easiest tutorial you'll ever follow. And as always, shout out GA Sphere for putting me on. And while you're at it, follow my Instagram. And let's get into it. So the first step, you're gonna need RPCS3 installed. And you're gonna need, you know, Skate 3 installed as well. So, you know, all I can really tell you is in the EA Skate Modding Discord server, there's an all-in-one build. It's gonna have Skate 3, Skate 2, and Skate 1. All three, all three skate games, bro. And the most important thing in the Skate 3, you're gonna have a save data that's gonna have all four graphics that you can easily customize. So after that, you download HXD, choose whatever language you speak. I speak English, so I'm gonna download this one. After that, go to the mega.nc link and download the necessary modding tools you need for the tutorial. And after that, go to cheatengine.org and download Cheat Engine. And an important thing you're gonna need to do for Cheat Engine, Go to edit, settings, scan settings, and make sure mem mapped is on. You're gonna need it on because down the line in the tutorial, you're gonna be very confused when you're searching for this specific bike code, and it's not, gonna, it's not gonna do shit. It's not gonna do shit at all. Like you're gonna be mad confused. So make sure this is on. You just make sure everything's on. All right. So okay, we can get out of that and we can minimize this. All right, go ahead and go to your desktop and I suggest you make a modding folder. This is gonna save you so much time and it's gonna be so organized. It's just best to have everything organized in your life, bro. To be honest, like, like am I wrong? No, I'm not wrong. So, open up that modding folder and go over and open RPCS3 and go over to manage, save data, skater, and view folder. You're gonna go over to the skater folder and copy that and paste this right into your modding folder. You can close this and minimize RPCS3. Go into the folder, copy skater.p, go back and paste that right into the exporter. Double click extract.bat, press any key and you're done. Refresh and this, this is all your textures. It's that easy. Copy that, go back, go back, go to the scripts folder. Paste that in right into there. And we can minimize, minimize this for now. What you're gonna do first, start up Skate 3. All right, so once you have Skate that, fuck me in the butt, bro. All right, so once you got Skate open, go over to Edit Skater. And make sure you have the graphic that you're gonna be editing installed. I mean, chose, you, make sure that's chosen. I, I don't know what I'm doing, hold on. So skateboards, decks, customizable board, and add team logo. I'm gonna be editing the first graphic, so I'm gonna choose that. And go ahead and set that. Now, go over back to your modding folder. Open an Oasis. All right, once that's open, go over to your first texture that you're gonna be editing. Make sure it's the right one. That's the right one. So I'm gonna be exporting this. And make sure on this drop down is DDS and export. All right, that's done. So we can close all of this out. And let's refresh. And there we go. Open HXC. Drag in the texture file, the original one. And go down to where it says texture. Select the value before that, and just select a couple of lines. It doesn't really matter how many, how many. Just make sure it's about that much. Copy that. Go over to Chi Engine. Select your Skate 3 process. I cannot find this. Where is it at? There it is. Open. Go to Memory View. And search. Find memory. And select Array of Byte. Paste that in and press OK. This is gonna take you a fat minute, so just let it do its thing and you're straight. All right, once it's done searching for that, you know, whatever, once it's done, you're gonna go over here and find 00 EB0008. All right, 
select the FF or it can be a 44. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure this is what you're looking for right here. Select that. Go to edit. And let's leave that at that. Oh, make sure you have this as array of bytes. So let's go back over here and let's edit this texture right here. This DDS file. Open that up. All right, once it's open, go back to your monitor. Oh. For me, I'm gonna go back to my monitor folder and I'm gonna just put in any graphic I want. I'm gonna just, you know, put Xenix Hope. So I'm gonna drag that into there. Add layer. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna delete this one right here. Just show you that this truly works. So I'm gonna go over to save, save as. Make sure it saves as a DDS file, save. And in this drop down, make sure you have DXT5 selected. It's gonna be BC3 linear. Select that. Go down, go to generate, turn on generate bit mit maps, and make sure you have bilinear chosen. And press OK. All right, that's done. We can close this out and go back. And you're going dra to drag this DDS file into HXC. And on the offset of 80, select the first line of text, scroll all the way down. And while holding the shift, click the last line of text. Copy that. Minimize this. Go back to Sheet Engine. And you're gonna select the um original the original offset and paste that in. And it's gonna look blank. And that's totally normal. And click OK. This is also gonna take a fat minute, so let it do its thing and just be patient. All good things come in life when you're patient, so you know. Yup. Alright, once that's done, go back to your skate 3 process. Go back to the um Well it already changed for me, so Usually what you do is select the another one, go back, and you know, as you can see, it worked. So that's it. This also works for um clothing items. You know, anything you can put a graphic on, this works. You know, you can you can make this your team logo, anything bro. I'll show you it works. You can go back, team logos, one, you see, it works. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. It was that easy. Um, last time I do this was since my last tutorial. I'm doing this straight from memory, so it's really that easy. It looks complicated off the bat, but I'm trying to simplify this process as much as possible to you. So, you know, thank you. So, anyways, I hope you like my tutorial. And as always, subscribe, follow Zenix Hulk on Instagram.com, and shout out G Sphere. Bye.